Today I'm reviewing the Dymo Electric Thermal Label Maker and finding five things around the house you'll be glad you labelled. Do you remember Dymo's embossed label maker? As a school child, I used to label just about everything. If it so much as moved, it got labelled. It was my way of marking my territory in a slightly more socially acceptable way than my dog does it. After I left school though, I put my labelling days behind me, until the other week, when I was suddenly overcome by the need to label something. Now of course I'm now at an age where I can't remember what on earth it was, but well, that doesn't really matter. I headed off to Amazon and found, to my absolute amazement, that Dymo still sells the embossed label maker 30 years later. And here it is. Now, They've updated their suggestions for the sorts of things you could use it to label. Um, bicycle helmets and Nintendos didn't exist when I was a boy. But the Dymo itself is more or less the same. I'm going to give this one to my daughter so she can experience the same unbridled joy of labelling as I did. I, on the other hand, wanted something a bit more gadgety. So I also bought a Dymo Label Manager 160, which is an electric thermal label printer. By the way, if you enjoy this review, do click the subscribe button below. This thing is very much at the budget end of Dymo's domestic labelling range. It costs about £28, plus you'll be in for another £15 for a roll of tape. I also bought a power adapter, which was another £15 because this is the sort of thing I'd use quite infrequently, so the batteries would probably just go flat. At the other end of the scale, if you're really serious about your labelling, you can buy the Label Manager 280. There's one on Amazon which for £77 even comes with its own briefcase. I can picture the scene now. Children, prepare yourselves for a spot of labelling. Anyway, I'm not sure there's too much to say about a label printer. This traditional one here is a bit laborious, and if it's anything like the one I had as a child, the stickers tend to fall off whatever you've stuck them to within a few months. Unless you've stuck them to something hairy, in which case they last a few minutes. This one, on the other hand, is a joy to use. You plug it in and then switch it on and type your label. Then press the print button and then press, uh, once that's finished printing, press the trim button on the side. The bigger question is what can you use these things for? The thing I find it most useful for is labelling electric plugs. Back in the day, people just had a telly plugged into the wall. Now we've all got a TV, a DVD player, a skybox, a surround sound system and a PlayStation or an Xbox. And they're all plugged into an ever-lengthening power strip. And isn't it always the way that you want to charge your iPhone and you pull out the wrong plug just as your child's about to win Victory Royale in Fortnite? No! Then there are two or three things which you may only look at once every five years or so, but when you do, by God, you're going to be glad you labelled them. The first is your fuse box, where all your fuses will probably have been labelled in some strange hieroglyphic language by an electrician back in 1972, which is not what you need when you're trying to figure out which fuse has tripped and put your entire house into darkness. Use the label manager and you'll see what's blown straight away. The second is tyre pressures. Instead of having to work out your tyre pressures every time you lose a bit of pressure, work it out once and stick a label on the inside of your fuel cap. Lastly, if you've hardwired a computer network round your house, you'll be very glad you labelled the wires going into your network switch the next time something stops working. I haven't got round to doing mine yet, but you see what I mean. What else? Well, airing cupboard shelf labels, plant labels, 
Actually, probably not them. I'd probably just use a pen for that. On its website, Dymo suggests using it for files. I guess I might if I was labelling them for the first time, but I've already handwritten mine and I'm not quite that anal that I'm now going to go and relabel them all. But I love the blurb on the Dymo website, which says, From files and binders to staplers and rulers, your labelled items will be the talk of the office. Why just the office? I can't wait to show my wife and children how I've labelled my new stapler. I'm sure they won't talk about anything else for days. And of course, as my wife and I get older and more forgetful, we'll have to start labelling more and more things. We'll probably have to start labelling friends on their way in through the front door as they arrive for dinner. I wouldn't be altogether surprised if my wife did the same to me to remember who, or rather what, I am. If you know anyone forgetful, you might like to share this with them. Otherwise, till the next time, I've been Arlo Guthrie. Bye-bye.